That tart black currant hit is going to work wonderfully with the sweeter strawberries and raspberries that I'll also be adding to my summer pud. While Sister Catherine washes the fruit, I line a pudding basin with cling film. Put half of the fruit into a saucepan and set the remainder to one side. You'll need it later. Sister Catherine adds sugar and water, a good glug of white wine and leaves to simmer, whilst I slice a loaf to line the pudding basin. So, Dame Catherine, you tie what you're doing in the church to also the way you eat as well? Oh, certainly, yes. During Lent, we're, we're fasting every day. Yeah. And then during summer with the big feasts, we tend to have special things associated with particular days. Yeah. So um, we've just had the feast of John the Baptist yeah. in midsummer. And what did that and involve? And we had the first of the new potatoes, yeah. which is lovely. And just before that, we had a feast of English nuns, and we had our first dish of English cherries. Ah, <laughs> oh, something sizzling. Now, that's been, how long's that been going for? About five minutes? Yes. Once the fruit has collapsed, strain through a sieve. Stand well back. Then put the juice back on the heat and reduce to a gloriously thick and fruity syrup. I haven't made too much mess. I know oh, you're no, a no, no. Oh, no, 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 we don't mind mess. Are you a messy Perfectly. cook? Yeah, I'm very messy. Are you? But I do clear up as I go along. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I thought messy cooks didn't clear up as they go along. I have to in here, there's not much room. Can you smell that heady, fruity... It's wonderful. Essence of summer. Essence of summer. Next, paint the bread with the syrup and line the pudding basin, making sure you overlap the slices. Do people behave bashfully because you're, because you're nuns? Sometimes. Do people talk to you in a different way when you actually sometimes you want to say, hey, look, kind of, you know, say it like it is? Sometimes they do, or sometimes they try to shock us, but that doesn't usually work, so... <laughs> Are you unshockable? I think any good nun's unshockable, really. <laughs> Take the raw fruit you set aside earlier and mix it into the cooked fruit, along with the velvety red syrup. Why do you like to have half your fruit cooked and half uncooked? Because you need to cook some fruit to get the juice, and then the uncooked fruit will make it more textural again. Then load up the bread-lined basin with the wonderfully fruity filling. Gone black currant heavy on this one as well. Cut some bread to make a lid for your pud. Then take a round piece of cardboard covered in foil, use weights to push it down, and chill in the fridge. Mm. Making the St. Benedict's Day summer pudding has been a real team effort, but will Sweet Tooth Sister Teresa think it divine or diabolical? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Was that your trumpet bugle? <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, isn't that lovely? Well, that really looks yeah, lovely. Yes, so you don't need to cut into it. I'm going to be... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quaking in my boots, that I, I know... You needn't. You needn't. That, um, <laughs> it's either going to be a blessing or doomsday for me <laughs> after you've... Um... What we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly grateful. Amen. Amen. Lovely. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs>